my elbow really hard. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, it is not the morning anymore. It's Monday. It is nearly 3 p.m. But I thought I would speak to you and welcome you to this week's studio vlog. I have spent today working through my mammoth to-do list. I have written down everything that I want to achieve. My phone is ringing. Oh my god. Let's try that again. This morning I've been working on a to-do list that I made for myself. Um, I haven't got around to planning my week yet, so I thought I would just work on a to-do list and get all my thoughts down so that I have a guide for the week. This morning the postcards arrived. I didn't really mention it in last week's vlog, but the replacement postcards that I ordered were delayed. The UPS tracking said they were going to come on the Monday, so I complained and got my refund. So I was expecting them on the Monday, and then the UPS tracking updated again to say Tuesday, and I was like, Ugh, like when are these gonna come? Apparently there's a problem at like that UPS location where they were losing the packages and everything was a bit delayed But they ended up coming today instead of tomorrow, which is great So this morning I've been putting the postcards into the mystery kits to finish them So I need to seal all the bags and stick the stickers on and they're ready to go in the envelopes to ship tomorrow I've also been working on the mood board for May mystery so I can get that sent off and with the artist My goal for the rest of the day is to finish the mysteries get them all in the envelopes and just like prep the mail ready for tomorrow. I am now going to get onto the postcard company that I'd used originally with the faulty postcards and just like get a refund because they were supposed to replace them and they haven't even been in touch. They said they'd be in touch within a few hours and it's been how many days? Like five days? <laughs> so that's not good. So I'm going to get a refund. Well, I'm going to ask for a refund. So it's been quite a mystery heavy day. Um, at the weekend, I did spend some time designing the washi tapes, which is really exciting. I started working on them a few weeks ago, and I sort of got a rough design like laid out, and I was not happy with it. So I took a little bit of a break and came back to it with like a fresh mind, and I'm really happy with the direction that they've gone in now. So I can't wait to show you guys that, but I'm gonna leave it until I actually have the products, and not show you like a sneak, just because I want to like have them in my hands, and I don't know. I just feel like I want to see them in person. I'm going to crack on with the mystery and I'll speak to you in a bit. It's the evening now and I've packed up all the mystery ready to ship tomorrow so I'm really excited about that. Then I can move on to thinking about April mystery which is very exciting. I did do a few other orders but just ones that would fit into the bags. 
I have to separate my mail based on size and destination for click and drop. So different mailbags have different kinds of mail in, so I just sort of utilised what I was already posting with the mystery and did some letter mail for the UK as well. Now I'm going to work on designing for this week. I'm going to finish the mini kit for the cat cafe and then maybe look into doing another collection today, but I'm not sure if I'll get around to it. I think I mentioned this earlier, but I do definitely want to finish the mini kit. I am in the living room in my soft office, so I'm going to have just a chilled evening. sorry for my absence yesterday I didn't end up filming well I hardly filmed anything but I did have quite a productive day um, I ended up going to the vets with Ari because I was a little bit concerned about his incision so I took him to the vets and he's actually fine but it did give me some peace of mind and then I could like stop panicking about it he does have to wear an extra cone of shame which is really sad I'll put a picture of him up but he is really not happy about it but he has to wear it for the next three days and then hopefully we can take everything off and he should be fine so it's just a case of getting him to leave it alone completely he was licking it a little bit at night so that sort of agitated the wound a bit but it is healing well it's just he needs to really leave it alone for the final like stages of healing but the reason i went was because he was like really moping around a lot and being quite lethargic but he was like eating and drinking fine so i did email them and they said to bring him in and basically they think he's just a bit depressed because of like having the surgery so I feel really bad for him but hopefully he perks up when he can have the cone and everything taken off him. In business related news I designed the second collection and printed the first collection. I did want to cut them yesterday but I definitely like didn't go around to that so I'm gonna do that today. I ended up buying two new pieces of equipment which I will show you in the future. I won't get one of them until April and then the other one I think is going to come sooner but I can't use it without the other one so it's a bit annoying but I will let you know about those when they come. Very exciting though, probably like the biggest things I've bought for the business. So clicking checkout was a little bit painful but yeah I'm glad I've sort of moved forward with that and I can start using them when they arrive. Oh you can see him, I didn't know he was in the shop. He's stalking right now. And the final exciting thing I have to share with you is that the mystery shipped. So hopefully that will start arriving for UK customers today and then I can get some feedback and see what they think. And oh, another exciting thing. I'm just full of updates today. I got the artwork for April Mystery back so I can design that. And I haven't actually looked at it yet, but um, I did see the email when I woke up. So very excited. I'm sure it's fine because I've seen like sneaks. So that is so exciting. So I'm gonna go and look at that now and then I'm gonna pretty much print and cut for the entire day. Um, I need to finish Firefly Lane. I've got one episode left. It's really good. I didn't think I would enjoy it. Like I didn't think it was gonna be my kind of TV show, but it's actually really good. So I would recommend that. It was recommended to me on Instagram. I asked for recommendations and Milan, who watches the vlog so hi, um, actually recommended it and I really like it. So I would recommend that too. I'm gonna look at this artwork and then do some cutting.
Hi guys, it's Friday now and I didn't speak to you today or yesterday I think but I was busy doing shop stuff and I got a little bit of footage so hopefully you've seen that. I'm making good headway on my to-do list, I've got three more things to do for this week so this is like my little catch-up day so fingers crossed I get those done. I want to finish sorting out my album storage, you know I got the um like Ikea magazine sorters for this unit, well I still haven't sorted out the the far one so I need to build those um, I don't think I actually have any albums that will go in it yet but I do want to get it prepped and I need to do my Royal Mail direct debit I did say in the last vlog that I had to call them basically when I switched to a different bank account when I became a limited company I didn't actually switch my Royal Mail direct debit I just like started to pay my bill every month instead myself so when I pay it manually with my new bank account it would override the old bank account's payment, like the direct debit. So I didn't actually switch it because my solution was to just pay it myself and it was fine. But last month, even though I paid my bill myself, it took the direct debit anyway. So I actually paid double. So it was fine because I was able to use that payment against this month and they've given it to me as like credit. But I don't really want to keep doing that because it messes up my accounting and I'm not sure why it did it wrong this month because it's been fine for like 18 months or something so i want to send off the new direct debit form so that it's linked to my current bank account that i use for the business and i also want to design april mystery kits they're not available for purchase yet but they will be on the 25th which I think is next Thursday, looking at my calendar, but it's quite far away. So um, mystery kits will open on the 25th, but I wanna get the kit designed so that I've got all that ready. Then as soon as the final like subscriptions renew on the 3rd, I think is the last day, as soon as I've got the final numbers, I can print and cut them and prep them early, which will be great. I also need to make some new dividers, literally story of my life. I say that like every week, basically. I just can't get ahead on them. They're quite time consuming and I don't like making them and it's noisy and I feel like I'm disturbing like the neighbours because the punch, although it's really good, it's noisy. So I need to just like make loads of them one day and like try and get ahead, but I just feel so annoying. <laughs> I do actually sell these to-do list pads in my shop, so I will link the notepad section down below in case you want to have a browse because I have a few other ones as well. best day I'm feeling a bit unhappy with the way Ari is healing still so I have contacted the vet um sent them photos and I'm waiting to hear back whether he needs to go in or if it's something that I can sort of manage at home he's fine like in himself but I just kind of want a second opinion so I've been worrying about that <laughs> because I took him in on Tuesday as well I've been worrying a little bit you know when something is just like bothering you kind of like under the surface and you can't properly relax because something is like you just know it's on your mind that's basically been me with Ari for the last like 10 days since he had his operation and hopefully I'm just overreacting but I'm I just want to like get their opinion so Hopefully we don't have to go in again, but I will keep you updated, I suppose. But because I've been worrying about that, not really had a chance to sort of like sink my teeth into a big block of work at the minute. So I thought I would show you Tagface, which is the app that Tom made me and I did feature in a vlog pretty early on. Um, it's a hashtag sort of generating, organising app. I just want to like preface this by saying that I am not a social media expert mogul. I just sort of make it up as I go along. But I think it's sort of common knowledge that with hashtags, if you keep using the same ones over and over, you get shadow banned. 
and I think that's true, like I don't 100% quote me, but I'm fairly sure that's a thing. So I wanted a way to create like a unique random set of hashtags each time from a big sort of master list and my logic, which again may not be entirely correct, um, is that you will avoid being shadow banned if you're not constantly using the same ones and you're using different like groups and different orders so it looks more genuine and like you literally thought of them yourself like typed them in for each post. I made a big master list and Tom made me an app that would literally just take the list and pick however many that I asked so if I asked for it to generate 20 it picks 20 and I can use them in my posts and I quickly realised that although this was amazing it would be useful to have sets of hashtags with different like themes so I might post about albums and I would have album hashtags and I could post about Ari and I would have dog hashtags and so on and so forth so he made a version 2 which lets you do that and a lot of people have messaged me and said we would like to use this as well, will it be public? So Tom has finished a version that is available to sign up if you do want to use it. So I'm gonna run through that now and just sort of explain how different parts of it work. So you've got like an overview and then you can tweak it and tailor it to your needs. So I'm gonna screen record my screen, obviously, <laughs> and show you mine. So this is how it will look when you're logged in and you've got your categories down the left. This is how it looks on desktop, by the way, on mobile, it's sort of squished in a bit, but you'll get the gist. So down the side, I have what I call my themes, and these are different things that I would post about. So sneak peek, mystery kit, spread, etc. They're all sort of vaguely different in the sense that they've got tags that I might not use in other themes. So if I go into sneak peek, um, these tags are not tidied up, by the way. So I need to go through and like, condense them because I do have a lot of themes now and some of them do cross over. So within categories you have your lists and these are for grouping tags within a category so you can sort of fine tune your category even further. So I've done it in a way that means I get to choose that certain tags are always included. So in my sneak peek include section these are the tags that I always want to be included when I generate a set of tags using this category. I hope that makes sense. These are ones that I think are crucial and no matter what else it generates, I want these ones to be included for sure. So that's why use all is selected because these are always gonna be picked. So in addition to these six tags that I've chosen to always include, I wanted to select a random selection of the tags that are just in this larger sneak peek box. So this list is set to pick randomly, which means it will generate any amount that I ask for from these ones that sort of vary. So it'd probably be easier to show you, but let's say, so for the sake of simplicity for my little tutorial, let's use 10 tags and it should pick the six that are under my include always use all section and then it should choose four of the other ones randomly. So these are my tags, so as you, as you can see the first six are these ones and then these four are ones that it's randomly taken from this set. And obviously if you wanted them to be completely random, you could set this to pick random, generate, and then it will be random. Or if for any reason you don't want to include certain tags, say I don't want to include sneak peek, upcoming releases, blah blah blah, I can click exclude and then it will only generate tags from this section. So as you can see it's a really useful tool to create like variations of tags when you've got them set up in a theme. So another feature of the new version is that under the categories you can actually select multiple. So say I want to do a set of hashtags that are about um, new releases and new releases are maybe doodles. So I want doodles and new releases. So here it's picking the tags that I had within doodles which is these two because I've got the ones I always want to include and then the more generic ones and new releases so I've got both sets as well and that, they're all set up the exact same way as I showed you for the sneak peek category so that's why I have two for each but you could obviously group them in a different way so say I want to do is it 30 hashtags for Instagram I think so I'll do 25 so these are a unique variation of my new release and doodle hashtags I would just say beware if you're only generating a small amount of tags and you're doing a lot of categories, um, your, your tag count will primarily be made up of the include sections because it has to include these. So you're only leaving like a few tags free to be randomly added. So 
you might want to sort of make them pick randomly if you're going to do a large group or something. So that is a super quick overview. You can rearrange the order if you want to move the categories, same with the lists. And then if you want to add tags, you literally just type in the box, add a space and it will save it. You can backspace to delete. If you want to move them between the lists, you can click on them to select them and then click move here and they move. I don't know if you can move them between categories. Hmm. Oh, you can. The reason I only added one is because I've already got the other two that I tried to move uh, in that list. Although now I've lost the one that I moved. So I'll have to go back and see what I did in the uh, edit. <laughs> So I hope that helps show you how it works. As you can see, it's really versatile. You could use it for loads of things. Anything you have tags on, so not just Instagram, like YouTube videos or Etsy. I'm probably gonna do like a full dedicated video just explaining more about how it works and then maybe go into like how you can pick your hashtags and stuff. So I hope that was helpful. I will put the link in the description if you wanna sign up. It is free and I find it a really useful tool and I use it every time that I do my Instagram posts. So I really hope that it can help someone else. So another kind of stressful update, we've just been to the vets and Ari has to have a course of antibiotics and he needs to wear the cone and the shirt for another seven days. I just feel really sad for him, I don't know if it was infected on Tuesday or not when we went before, but hopefully when the infection starts to clear up he'll then like heal properly. I did think it was weird that we were on like day 10 and it still wasn't looking quite right. He is like finding himself, she said it wasn't a major infection but just feel a bit rubbish really. So that is where we've been. I'm gonna sit on the sofa with Ari and design the April mystery kit so I can keep an eye on him. And fingers crossed I can get him to take these antibiotics. They're huge. Apparently they're like nice flavored for dogs, but he didn't wanna take it so I had to hide it in his food. And I feel like he's gonna realize that pretty soon and start like outsmarting me. So I'm gonna cook some chicken and hide it in chicken next time. <laughs> you know it's bad when your dog is cleverer than you. forgot to film an outro to the vlog so here I am filming the ending while I refill my reusable sticker book. This vlog has been a little bit uneventful but I have some really exciting things coming up in the future that I can't wait to share with you. Once again thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for another studio vlog. Bye!